Okay, hello and welcome back, back to day four, uh, a growth plan. And what we're actually going to do today is go over your top 100 list. Uh, I hope you were trying to complete that as of yesterday. Uh, one of the things I'm going to suggest throughout this series is actually grab one of the composition notebooks. Uh, this is actually going to help you out a lot. Um, I was taking, when I first got started in the industry, one of the things that was suggested to me was actually to get a notebook like this and actually keep one notebook a month. One notebook a month that I actually put everything in. And I'll just suggest you guys, you know, starting out with one notebook to actually write everything down for the next 90 days as we go through uh, this training cycle. Um, the first 30 days is really going to be the most important for you because in the first 30 days, we're actually going to track out the eight things that you need to do. There's going to be some projects along the way. Uh, it'll probably take out, you know, 30 days. So, uh, you know, a composition notebook is really good to start with. Um, and if you're wondering what the noise is in the background, because, you know, I know I'm going to get asked this. I'm going to go ahead and show you. We're actually uh, in one of our offices that has a fish tank. And there it is. Um, welcome to the office that has the fish tank. So maybe at some point, you know, this would be a nice thing to have in your house. You know, uh, a little boardroom, just a kind of think tank, uh, trying to figure things out. It's really cool to have a fish tank in your office. Um, I never knew that you could get a fish tank in an office, but you know, they just made a wall out of it, so we said, let's go with it. Um, achievement, you know, that's really what this is about, is learning how to achieve. You know, on day four, what we're actually talking about is creating your own personal John Goddard list. If you looked at day three, we talked about who John Goddard was. He was the guy at 15 who created 127 things to do, and he's like accomplished like 120 of them. Uh, but achievement, achievement is actually, you know, knowing and finding the right things to do and then doing them long enough over a long enough period of time. Now, we talked about creating a list of over a hundred things, over a hundred things. Now, why do we want to create over a hundred things? Well, that way we have some of the, what I would call the meat and potatoes to work with, you know, because what we're going to want to do is narrow this down into a very narrow field of this is specifically what I'm going to get. And if you don't start out with a hundred, uh, at least a hundred, it, it's kind of hard to do it. And I'm just following what John Goddard did, and he seems to be pretty successful. And also what, you know, they didn't teach you in Harvard uh, Business School. This was another thing to talk about creating a list of hundred and actually have it written down. What I found in my boot camps is most people complete about 27 different things. Now, why do they only complete 27 of them? I think after you think about what you want for a house and what you want for a car and what you, you know, what kind of clothes and maybe what kind of watch and you're like, I think I want to go somewhere. What ends up happening is you get stuck at some point. So what, I, what I've done is in one of our other boot camps, I, I figured this out that people were only coming up with 27. I said, man, we need an easier way to come up with this list. So I thought this up and it seemed to work out and pay off really good. What we did is we created top 10 lists. And what we're going to do is start out with the first list of top 10. So today's goal is actually to get a notebook like this, write down one through 10, and what we're gonna do is your top 10 financial goals. I wanna start with financial goals. Why are we gonna start out with financial goals? Because they're easy to count, you know, first of all, as Jim Rohn would say. Um, and what I wanna do is really start out with, let's talk about a monthly income. You know, what kind of monthly income do you really want? And you know, what, what do you want to save? What do you want to give? What kind of money do you want to actually pay bills with? Or kind of sustain your lifestyle with? What kind of money would you want to reinvest? On top of things like that, what about a list of things to pay off? You know, that would be a good thing to put on your top 10 list for, you know, financial goals. Uh, things you want to save, things you want to give away, uh, how much money you want to leave, an inheritance, uh, life insurance, what kind of life insurance you want to have, what kind of investments, do you want to go into real estate? What about a personal charity or scholarship? I mean, is there something you want to help out with and do? Um, what about total net worth in a lifetime? That would be kind of a good goal. So what we're going to do today is just, you know, helping narrow down this top 100, we're going to start out with a top 10 list of financial goals. You can write down whatever you want, but what I would encourage you to do is take this video, you know, put this video on your wall and actually list all 10 on maybe your Facebook page. Because this is a way to attract a lot of people, honestly, um, to whatever you're doing. Because when people see, well, I want my businesses, you know, my business 
monthly income to be, let's just say, $10,000, for instance. Um, $10,000, and you know, we just talk about, you know, because I want to save, you know, $1,000, and I want to give $1,000, and I want to be able to live off about $4,000, and that leaves what? Uh, that's six, so we've got, you know, $2,000 here, uh, you know, and now we're at 8000 and $2,000 to pay off this. I mean, if you had that kind of a dream of people like, what business are they in? What do they do for a living? Like, I, I need to know more about this because this is something that I need to do. Because, you know, if you're saving zero and you're giving zero and your lifestyle is at $2,000, but your bills are at $3,000 and you're reinvesting zero and you're paying off negative 2000 because you're, you know, adding debt every month, um, this is what most people's backwards financial plan is because they have never done, you know, a current financial plan. So that's really what the goal is of today. And, you know, we always kind of end with the same thing. We're really, what we really want to do is tell you to actually, you know, we're encouraging you to copy this video, to share this video, uh, to redistribute this video. And it's our hope, you know, that you don't only learn from our video series, but you're actually going to be able to earn from our video series. So. You know, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, this is the uh, first task of day four, and tomorrow with day five, we're going to have another top ten list.